Uh, oh, I, of course you're gonna ask about this. Uh, well, I'm not really supposed to talk about it, or well, not specifics, because there's still kind of an investigation going on. But uh, yeah, I, you know, everyone knows urban legends about snuff films, so I decided, A, they must exist, so someone's got to be able to do it better. So I kind of try to do my own take on it. And uh, my, well, I guess, ex-wife, uh, wife at the time, she helped me out with it, but didn't quite go the way she wanted it to. I'm sorry. What, what were we talking? What were we talking about? Let's do this already. I enjoy a lot of surrealism. Um, I like feminist work. Really, it's just the shape of feminine genitalia that intrigues me. Something about the vast abyss of the human body. Turns me off. Gets me off. I can't do it. I can't take myself seriously right now. Put her on. No. I think it was in second grade when I made my first mud pie. Showed it to my. <laughs> I think it was in second grade. When I became, when I found out that I became an artist, I think it was definitely around second grade. I plopped a heaping pile of mud pie on my mom's desk and she cried. That's where I knew. <laughs> That's where I knew I had a gift. <laughs> Have another cigarette. Corey, get me another cigarette. What the fuck are you good for? <sighs> Thanks. Fuck for off. nothing. Yeah. Yes? Misogynistic. Uh, I mean, yeah, I hear that word get thrown around a lot, but I consider myself a realist. Um, I mean, this whole feminist reaction to a lot of things, like, let's put men back underground, that's not realistic. Let's get it straight. We still run this place. So I think my work just has this sense of, you know, realism. It's solidified in what's going on, and people can't handle that, and they see it as sexist. But, I mean, if women were more intelligent, they'd find a way to overcome it instead of just sitting around bitching all day. I have not had an abortion per se. Um, I did have surgery, some corrective surgery where I had something growing inside me and I wanted it to go. It was like cancer, really. I just removed a tumor, which happened to be a baby, but. So when did you first knew you wanted to be? Uh. <laughs> Casually scratch your and just scratch your balls. Don't like touch your dick. Okay. Reset. Take that out. <laughs>